everybody. Hi, good evening. It is currently 8.23 p.m. right now. I'm really sorry about this lighting, but it is the best that I can do right now because it is so dark outside. Today, tomorrow, and the day after are my last three days on reserve for this month. It is the end of February, and then I have a line for the next three months, so that'll be really nice. So I am closing out my reserve month, and right now I am about to go work an all-nighter LA turn. So it's um, the red eye flight. So I go tonight, Dallas to LAX. And then I think we leave at like one in the morning from LA back to DFW. And we should be in around 6.30 or seven tomorrow morning. Um, I feel like I can say this to you guys because you all know how grateful I am for my job and that as a whole, I really do love it. These are my least favorite kind of flights to work just because um, they're really hard on your body, forcing yourself to stay up late at night. I am not a night owl. I am much more of a morning person but you know what sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and we got to go work these flights but I do really hope that Starbucks is open still because your girl is absolutely gonna need a coffee tonight also yes do not judge me I still brought my entire suitcase and lunchbox with me this is my cute little setup with my lunchbox my suitcase on the j-hook and my pillow that folds into a blanket wow I meant to say my blanket that folds into a pillow but Okay, I always bring my full suitcase set with me on every single trip because what if we got stuck in LA? What if our flight canceled tonight? And then I would be stuck there with only my uniform clothes, no pajamas, no toothbrush, none of my normal skincare stuff, and that just does not sound fun to me. Oh, and then I have a purse that I always bring with me to work as well. So. We are ready to head inside. I am in the airport now and it is 8.46 p.m. The Starbucks app on my phone says that Starbucks is open until 9 p.m. But when I went there, it looked like they were closing everything down, but the lights were still on. So I went and I asked the lady if they were still open and she said no. So I was a little bummed about that. And then I went next door to Auntie Anne's and asked if um, they had any coffee. And she said no, even though their little billboard menu thing says that they have coffee, but Maybe they just don't have any tonight. And then I went to this CNBC news store. I looked through their fridges to see if they had any cold coffee and they did not. So <laughs> I just signed in for my trip. Originally we were supposed to go out of the A terminal, but now we're going out of the C terminal. So I'm gonna head over that way and work these flights. And despite not getting my coffee, we're still gonna have a great night. I forgot that Panera Bread is open 24 hours. So maybe they can save the day except it looks like most of their coffee is sold out. I guess that makes sense because it's so late, but I think they do have this cold brew that is not sold out. So I think I'm just gonna get that and add some of my own cream and sugar. Panera bread keeping me caffeinated and saving the day. That's my song for the evening. It's a great song. Continue to payment, credit card, boom gonna get my coffee. Thank goodness for Panera truly coming in clutch tonight, but I do have these little coffee creamers that, oh my gosh, would that focus please? Come on, there we go. Just these little vanilla creamers that I'm gonna throw in here as well. I do my best to never leave a mess in any establishment that I go to. Okay, now, we are ready to go work these flights. <laughs> It is currently 6.50 a.m. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's so much glare off of my glasses, but I just got back in from my turn. Everything went really well, it was really smooth. Our flight to Los Angeles was two hours and 56 minutes, and then our flight back home was two hours and 25 minutes. I definitely have a love-hate relationship with red-eye turns like this, and I'll tell you guys more about that later, but one thing that I do really like is the fact that it is only 
6.52 a.m. and I'm already done with work for the day. So I'm going to drive home, take a nap, and I will talk to you guys later. It is, uh, what is it about? Yeah, it's 10 a.m. right now. I'm obviously home. I took a nap and I'm eating breakfast and I just think it is so funny that I am eating leftover Mexican food for breakfast. This is actually what we had for dinner last night. It's from a place called, oh my gosh, what is it called? Thank you. And I got a steak quesadilla and rice and I'm having it for breakfast. Hi Luna, do you wanna say good morning to everybody? Hi sweetheart. I am ready to slowly start getting my day going. I'm gonna change, probably go to our apartment gym, walk on the treadmill for a while, stretch, but I just opened this Alani New peach energy drink and oh my gosh, these are so good. I'm not gonna lie. I don't drink energy drinks or coffee every day, but on days like today and last night for red eye turns, just need that little extra caffeine boost. <laughs> and I ran a few errands and then I took Luna on a walk. So today is kind of just a boring <laughs> normal day, but um, kind of like what I was talking about earlier. One of the things that I really like about red eye turns like I did yesterday is because it touches two days, the one trip touches two days, it takes away two reserve days. So those are two days that I could have been on call with my company, but since I bid for the all nighter turn, I wasn't on call with them. And it's almost like I get two days off well not really because i'm still working but you know what i'm saying like i had two full days at home and i was just working at night but the thing that i don't like about them is the way that i feel today after i work the all-nighter flights the next day even after taking a nap i always just feel so lethargic and a bit fatigued and just lazy like i just feel like i don't want to do anything <laughs> So that's how I'm feeling right now, but I did get a package yesterday and that's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, so I bought some more books. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I realize that I have plenty of unread books here at my house already. And I also have unread books on my Kindle, but you know what? That's not gonna stop me from buying new books that I want. And I'm going to read all of them at some point. Like I will get my money's worth and I will read all of them. I mean, there's worse things that I could be buying. So the books that I got, this one, Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. And I also got You'd Be Home Now by the same author, Kathleen Glasgow. And both of these books are young adult, which means it should be people under the age of 18 can read it. And these seem like very emotional, heavy topic reads, but hopefully they'll be really good. And I'm really excited to read from this author. And then this book sounded so interesting by Christina Lauren, who wrote Love and Other Words. If you guys watched my Cancun vlog, I talked about how much I absolutely loved that book. Oh my gosh, it's like one of my favorite books now. So good. Anyways, this book is about this girl named Jessica. She's a single mom and she just like doesn't believe in love, doesn't believe it's for her. But then she comes across, either this person or this app where um, you find your love, like your match based off of DNA and science. And I just think that is like a really cool concept. And it also reminds me of Black Mirror. I don't think this book will be freaky like Black Mirror, but I do think it'll be really good. And then I got the book Dark Matter. I've heard this book is such like, like just mind blowing and crazy. So I'm super excited to read this. It's about alternate lives, alternate universes, I think, and stuff like that. So if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought. And then I did also just get a notification on my phone that I am on reserve availability period A, which means that I will go on call tonight at 2 a.m. and I will be on call until 2 p.m. tomorrow. We have 12 hour call shifts while we're at home. So there's um, the one that's 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then there's 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. And the one that I got was 2 a.m. until 2 p.m. I had bid for some day trips, but it looks like I wasn't senior enough to get any of those. But 
it's okay. We'll see if I get called for anything. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday I started reading on the couch and then I fell asleep while I was reading and took another nap. That just doesn't go to show you how tired I was. Then I don't know what will. I'm not the type of person to nap during the day. I actually really don't like taking naps during the day, but clearly I just really needed it because I was super tired. This has just been a really busy reserve month. So I think I'm just tired from all of it, but today is is our last day and of course crew scheduling gave me something um, I'm not mad about it though it's a pretty easy day we um, deadhead from Dallas to Chicago which means I fly in a regular passenger seat but I'm still considered working crew they just have to get me from point A to point B so we go to Chicago but then we do have to sit there for three hours so that's not the best but then we work the flight from Chicago back to DFW so I'll be home tonight so it's just a quick little one-day trip I'm just finishing up my makeup putting on some blush this is from rare beauty i love rare beauty i buy um, a lot of her stuff it's selena gomez's makeup brand i forgot to mention that this blush is in the shade bliss and i usually get this from sephora or ulta but I'll try to see if Amazon has a link for it and if they do i'll put it below good morning luna aren't you just so cute Fun fact about me, I will put peanut butter on just about anything. I love peanut butter. <laughs> just a plain bagel with peanut butter and I could eat this every single day. I just got to the DFW airport and like I mentioned earlier, it's just the two flights today. So we go to Chicago and back, but you guys today, I'm so happy. Also, like I mentioned earlier that it's my last day on reserve for this month and then I don't have to go on reserve again until June. So that'll definitely be a nice break of not being on call. As a thank you for sticking around and if you're still watching this video, then you get a little bit of a sneak peek as to what type of content I will be uploading in March. So the first layover, I'm really excited about is I have 24 hours in Salt Lake City which as you all know my younger sister Alicia lives there so I'm super excited for that trip and then my mom is also going to be there so that'll be a really fun layover and then I have a layover with my friend Tiffany we are flying together a bunch next month which I think will be so much fun she's been in a few of my videos before she is my flight attendant bestie and the first fun layover that we have is Bozeman Montana I don't think I have ever had a layover in Bozeman so I think that'll be awesome and if you have any recommendations for fun things to do in Bozeman or places to eat please let me know in the comment section below because I have no idea what we should do there yet and then another trip that I am really excited about is towards the end of March uh, Tiffany and I picked up a layover in Curacao so this will be a new country for me to go explore I don't think she's been there either so we'll get to explore a new country together I'm super excited for the beach trip and I just think it's gonna be a really good time the tough part of reserve is not knowing ahead of time what you're doing I got called for this trip this morning at 5 45 a.m. I think is when they called me for it and so it's just nice because even if you have to wake up really early on your line month for a trip at least you know about it ahead of time and you can make plans for layovers and whatnot so yeah with all that said let's go to Chicago and back 